We should call her Peony. <laughs> she likes being out in the peonies. Ah, Peony. Pretty good. Hi, Ducky. Ducky the Explorer. <laughs> Ducky the Explorer. Look at you, you got a dump basket. Dirty rooster. Dirty rooster. <laughs> This is what our greenhouse looks like in the winter time. The refuge of the chicken kind. <laughs> this way, they can come in here and don't have to stand around in the snow and uh, get some out of the rain or the snow or the wind. It's not heated, so it, but. Just during the day, yeah, they can hang out here. Keep them away from uh, wind and snow. That's an unheated water. I've got a heated one here. Mm -hmm. I've got a setup. I've got to actually mount it and hang it in here. So once it starts getting a little colder, uh, that's what I'll do is I'll plug it in so that way their water, they'll have at least one unfrozen water out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just think how deep this is already. Imagine when this whole thing, I got two more. So I've got these two big ones, honey. I was thinking, what about if I put one along there and one along there and almost blocked in parts of the sides with a big bale of straw? And then they can just use the middle and then the tops will still allow air to come in. So it won't be completely sealed off, but it'll hold a little bit more warmth. What do you think? Then, it will, then the soil here will be ready for if you want to plant in the soil here instead of just pots, yeah. you have such good luck. So the other five younger ones are inside? Yeah, you want to look? Let's go look at them. So look, look, look. And this is actually my heater panel for when it gets really cold. We plug that in, and it's a it's like a radiant heater. Um, you don't have to worry about it burning down and stuff. But like, oh, yeah. okay. Okay. That's good in here, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I'm wanting to set up a compost a compost area for the chickens. I don't know it's winter time. We're not going to get much composting, but this will let us. Uh, I can put their bedding in here because I got. I'm about to muck out. We do deep litter on these chickens, so it's time to muck out this deep litter. And uh, uh, I can put all that used litter in this to start to compost, and then we can add or scraps and whatnot to it. And then they, they can eat on the scraps, and this will kind of heat up a little bit and keep them a little bit warm. So I'm just gonna. I, I was thinking about putting in the middle of the greenhouse. But I think what I'm going to do is actually put it here in the corner so that way when we walk in, we don't have to. We'll all the way back yeah, in. we can just throw it right. We don't even have to come in. We can just kind of toss it around the corner into yeah. the thing. Okay. So I'm going to move, move this. I like to leave the straw underneath it. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't want to waste that straw that we use. So I think we want it, I want it at least three foot across. Like that. That is almost three foot. Okay. Okay. So, I think I'm going to shoot for four.
little bit bad idea my pulls it down. to Rachel how to find a circumference of a circle if we knew the diameter and I wanted the diameter of this to be four feet and I was trying to make her learn her new math that she just learned so we figured 12 and a half feet would give us about a four foot so we should be right at four feet so I can tell her her math was good so three foot three foot will give us a compass Smaller than three foot is not enough mass to compost. Three foot, three foot by three foot by three foot will give you mass to start. Four foot by four foot by three foot is better. So that's what we're going to do. So um, whatever that's in the cookie can fit in here? The floor and the bedding is all going to go in here. And then I've got new floor and bedding in my truck. Yeah. That'll go inside the coop. Uh -huh. And then any food scraps we got, we can just toss in here. Yeah, and they can jump. So. Yeah, they can jump in and out of this. Especially once this gets, I mean, think how thick it is already. Imagine this all over this, it's going to be that deep. Mm -hmm. So this will be this high already. And so that's a pretty easy jump for the chickens. Okay. okay. Chicken chores done. We brought some uh, about 240 pounds of straw in and set up the compost in here for them. Got their pallet with their feed and their water and their give them uh, open feed them calcium uh, oyster shells. So yeah, it's all done. Plus we. Uh, with the compost, we swapped out their their uh, bedding in their main coop. Got that in here so it can start composting a little bit. 
probably happy with this. Get like a scratch. Yeah, they can scratch. We threw a little corn down. Um, this they love doing this. Uh, you know, the chickens being chickens, they just come here and scratch and scratch and scratch, and they just love it. And for us, this is all with them scratching in it and pooping in it, food getting in it. Um, by next spring, this will be shredded to a fine dust, dirt mixed with uh, their manure. And we'll shovel all this out, mix it in with the compost next spring when we take it out of here to uh, keep um, aging outside. So this is all, we'll be able to capture all of their um, byproduct from them this winter either in the coop or in here. So that's it. Now we don't have to mess with this again until about April. Uh, other than this, I just stir the uh, bedding in the coop about once every couple weeks and give them food and water. There you go. Chickens in Alaska.